What's up Latin learners? We have made it through 21 lessons now of Latin vocabulary and I am so proud of you. That's halfway through the Latin book. We've made so much progress and in the process of memorizing all this Latin vocabulary, we've uh, built a pretty incredible world so far. So I think it's about time that we go back through our world and take a little world tour and really just reflect on how far we've come in not just building our base and our incredible world and helping out all of our vi villagers and such, but also just in how far we've come in memorizing our Latin vocabulary. So I'm going to talk us through the story of how this all came to be and hopefully that will remind you of how far you've come in memorizing your Latin vocabulary. Let's get into it. Uh, it all started with this little hole in the wall base. I remember sprinting over through the flower fields and finding this little hole in the ground and deciding to call it our base. It started off pretty simple, you know, with all the things that we needed, like furnaces and we got your barrels and smokers and things. Um, but even from the beginning, we wanted to make this beautiful, of course, even though, of course, this base has expanded to be <laughs> a lot more than what it used to be. I remember with these gray concrete walls, we had to go and remake them <laughs> four different times, I think, and going all the way back to that sandbar over there, digging up the sand, digging up the gravel, so that we could build these walls because we kept messing them up. But, you know, that happens in the course of building Minecraft worlds, and it happens in the course of memorizing vocab, too. Sometimes you gotta go and create new ways to memorize words. But one of my favorite pla things about this place, it was discovering the secret note on this little lectern and finding out that Caesar, our buddy, had built a secret little base here in the wall through this painting. He built this amazing enchanting room, or he built the room for us, and then we decided to decorate it, so I think it looks pretty cool. But then as we continued to expand our base, as you'll remember, we built this cool little place for our, our horses to live. And it was pretty nice because, I bet you'll remember, we were learning words like eques, equitis, which means horse. We got hay and barrels for that as well. I think our horses are pretty happy in here. Right outside our initially pretty small little base, we have our garden, which I think is one of my favorite parts in our whole base. Just because it's pretty nostalgic, it's where I discovered my love for gardening and learning Latin at the same time. <laughs> I think that's pretty fun. But I love the way that this wheat looks on the hill. I love our little pergola that we made with the campfires. And then of course, we have our happy little custom tree here. One thing you may remember is that this path right here used to be a crack in the ground that looked pretty ugly, and we weren't sure at first what to do with it. But then we saw a little happy little waterfall coming through the crack and pouring out this direction. And that's what gave us the idea to make this awesome pond here. Now, this kind of reminds me of sometimes when I'm going through my Latin book and I come across a lesson that might seem really big or intimidating and so it almost seems like too much to handle. But sometimes you find that little light at the end of that tunnel, you find out that the words are not so bad as you thought, or you find really fun mnemonics that really help you remember them, and then all of a sudden the lesson becomes not so bad. And as I said before, this area turned out to be one of my favorite places to go on our base. Once we started decorating this main portion of our base, that's when it all started to feel like it was coming together and feeling like a really legitimate build on Minecraft, which is pretty fun. And I'm sure you started to feel that way as you got farther into your Latin book, feeling like you really actually knew some fun words. This place is also pretty nostalgic to me. Are there any Latin words that you find nostalgic over the course of what we've studied? Let me know in the comments. Let's take a look inside here and see what we've built. So, of course, we have this beautiful interior with my sister's fancy little shag rug. She, remember, we took a fun little adventure out to a coral reef just to find the materials for this rug. Caesar went with us too, which was pretty fun, but that makes this, this rug pretty memorable. One of the joys of decorating a base like this and making it beautiful is how it reminds us that as we're studying our Latin vocab, we're beautifying our minds as well. And that was something I was definitely thinking about as we built this cool interior. 
One of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is to decorate interiors. I love all the little details, putting the egg on the little shelf like that, creating cool little chair designs and lamps, and I think that's really why I love translating Latin so much, just because Latin has all these cool little details that change up the word in such interesting ways. You'll have a verb, and you'll find out that it might be a tense that you didn't expect, and all because of a few letters in the word that make it do that. Such powerful changes that can make such an impact on the sentence you're translating. I just think it's so cool. Let's take a quick look upstairs. Gotta say, this is probably my favorite room in the house. I love this little shag rug, it just makes me feel so cozy. But I can't take credit for the design of this room at all. My mom and my sister have always been my Latin learning buddies, but they're also my design buddies. So they designed this room and I think it's just the best. Look at those little corners on the couch, so fun. Believe it or not, the outside of our house has gone through several different renditions and just trying to make it look the best that we can possibly make it. But that's kind of how translating goes in Latin. You'll have a sentence and you'll start translating it, and then all of a sudden you'll find that maybe that's not exactly how it was supposed to be translated. But man, it always turns out so cool whenever it's done. Just like this awesome hot tub. <laughs> Now, one reminder I have for you all is that as you're translating, don't be afraid to use the answer key if you get stuck. But don't use the answer key in the context of just trying to find the answer, but really figure out what the problem is. And you'll really find you're learning much faster than if, if not. The same goes for when we've been designing these areas like this outside deck with our pool and our little floaty over there, and this cool garden area, atrium type of thing as well. A lot of these things we learn from other people, so if you're watching these videos and you're curious about something that we've made, try checking the description of the video. You might find a tutorial on how to make it from someone else. This infinity pool, for instance, is something we found from someone else, but we found out a way to make it our own and really make it fit the style of our house. Guys, when we started to build this barn, man, things really kicked up a notch. Not only did we start to build bigger and bigger structures, but we also started learning more and more vocabulary. I hope you weren't too intimidated, but I think it went really, really well, and look how much we accomplished. Remember, it's always so good to look back on how much you've done to be able to see how far you've come. Because once you're able to see how far you've come, then you're able to have so much more hope for how far you can go in the future. As we progress into new lessons, keep that in mind and how much you were able to learn in such a short period of time. These villagers have been the cause of so many crazy shenanigans over the course of these lessons. I know you've seen several, like, whenever we tried to- we had to bring villagers all the way from the village over there to this yellow house to get them started working on our farm. But man, they've been all over the place and probably the most hilarious <laughs> things I've seen in building this. It's been a whole lot of fun. But they've also been super productive in farming all of these crops and replanting them. Wow, I mean, look at this. Look at all these potatoes left over. They need to, be make sure, <laughs> they need to make sure and uh, bring all these potatoes back to the barn. You guys are missing out on some crops, fellas. But in the process of this, we also built a cool blacksmith house, chicken coop, sheep farm. Our greenhouse is really beautiful, I think. I love all the flowers that live over here our fun little beehive, and our little villager that lives in his little red hut. So much fun. I'm curious too, in the course of playing with these villagers, we've also uncovered some pretty fun words to say in Latin. What would you say is your favorite word to say in Latin? Let me know in the comments. By the way, this blacksmith hut is another one of those builds that was built some of our awesome Minecraft builders in the community. So if you're interested to know how to build this awesome Minecraft hut, go to the description of this video. I'll have listed all of the creators that we have taken inspiration from. And you can go find his builds along with some of the other stuff we're about to see and go put these into your worlds as well. I'm sure they would really appreciate the support. But man oh man, look at those beautiful buildings in the distance. We're really about to see where things really escalated. But first of all, we have a beautiful little beach. 
This is so fun. Look at the surfboard down there. This is one of my favorite things to build as well, just because of all the little things, like the sandcastle and the volleyball court. But what we weren't expecting is how big things were about to get. And as you continued into your Latin learning journey, I'm sure you felt that things were escalating as well. But of course, we were up to the task, weren't we? Sometimes when building something as big as this, it takes some creative juices and it takes making a plan to take things step by step so that you can accomplish what you want. That's the case with Aladdin, and that's the case with Minecraft. For this build, we had to take this one step at a time, building the base first and then building on all of our de decorations and shops for our lovely villagers to inhabit. This area is really just the start of this awesome harbor area. We have so many little markets for our villagers to work in, like this cool little bakery. Oh, I love the cake. But man, this is just going to be the start of some area of this area that we're hoping to be a lot bigger, adding more houses and shops and bringing more villagers in. We really want this place to really feel like a bustling society and market. Building up your vocabulary in Latin is one of the most foundational things that you can do for feeling successful in your progress. It takes effort and perseverance, but the hard work is always so worth it in the end. And you'll find that, of course, whenever you come to your exercises, you start translating, and you find you don't have to look up as many words as you had before. It's a pretty satisfying feeling. Lesson 21 came with building these awesome townhouses. It really was the pinnacle of making it to that halfway point in our Henley One vocabulary. But one thing you probably didn't get to see was the inside of these townhouses. So let me show you what's inside and we can just celebrate together how far we've come, how much progress we've made, and how much Latin vocabulary you've learned. Let's go inside. All right, we've got a nice little coat rack here for our villagers. A nice little kitchen area for them to cook, make their meals and their cakes. Upstairs we've got plenty of books, some seating, and a beautiful blue bedroom for them to live in. And I love all the greenery in this in-between area. But then of course, this villager likes his paintings. He sleeps up here. And downstairs, we've got more storage, a little fireplace, a perfect place for them to warm up when it's cold outside and then in this house we've got more of that blue carpet I would live in this house I would stay in that library all day some storage and a beautiful place to sleep with plenty of windows looking out on the market we've come so far in such a short amount of time we've done so much let's take a little walk through through our world
thank you guys so much for coming on this awesome world tour with me and for really joining me in the adventure of learning Latin vocabulary together. We've really learned so much, built so much together, but man, we have so much in store. We have more vocabulary to learn. So I'm looking forward to joining you on the next stage of the journey. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.